two years after being hired by the people of Peterborough. Tonight, Fiona Onasanya has been fired by them too. The first MP to be signed out quite like this. The results of a petition posted tonight, backed by more than a quarter of her constituents, mean she can no longer sit in here. I advise the House that the petition was successful. Fiona Onasanya is no longer the member for Peterborough and the seat is accordingly vacant. She slammed the door on her own career last year when she was found guilty of lying about a speeding fine, serving four weeks in prison. But voters in Peterborough have been deciding their own penalty after their MP refused to stand down, with almost 20,000 signing a recall petition since March to automatically force her out. Rather than just take the points and move on, I would have forgiven her for that, because she's only human, we're all human, but you just kept lying. And lying. And lying and, and lying. lying. And trying to frame other people, so yeah. she has to go. It's have you signed a petition then? Not yet. Not yet, but we will do it before five o'clock today. <laughs> You've made an appointment in your diary to sign that petition. I have. She <laughs> needs to go. <laughs> she has already been held responsible for all she's done. She already spent one month in prison, and there is more to a person than just the mistake they make. Well, the way she lied to the police and the courts, it just makes everybody's mind doubtful about how she would treat the normal voter. If she's going to lie to them, what chance have we got? In the end, the required number of signatures was met three times over, and so the people of Peterborough must now put their trust in a new MP, meaning a by-election in a marginal seat at more than a marginally interesting time in politics. An opportunity it had been thought for this man, though he won't personally be taking it. The Brexit party will contest that by-election. Will Nigel Farage? In, Nigel Farage will be in Brussels, possibly with a very large number of people who've never even visited the European Parliament, and my duty will be to lead that group there. I've got no choice on this. Will you be resigning, Ms Onasanya? Fiona Onasanya could stand in the election, but having hidden from scrutiny, she's unlikely to seek it now. Paul Brand, News at 10, Peterborough.